getting my ramps strapped up so that way they don't kick out when I load up the side by side. I love using the tire bonnets because it keeps your vehicle in one place and it lets the vehicle float and strapping it down to the trailer and bringing it out here and securing it uh, up front and then in the back one on each wheel that's the best way a lot of guys like to hook them on the, the bumper um, even up in the suspension but in reality this is the best way to do it with the tire bonnets I I just like it I'm a big fan of it and uh, so that's why I do it this way. When I do the tire bonnets, I make sure I secure the side that doesn't have the strap first. Because if you do that side, and then say you put it here, you're going to have a lot of slack because you already have your bonnet secured on the tire. So what I do is I start back here where there's no adjustment, and then I'll kind of pull up some of the slack on the tire with the bonnet. So that way I have no slack right there. And then when I get up to here, this one doesn't have to be in this slot on the X-Track or up here or anywhere. I, I put it up as far as I can so I still have some strap here. And then I let just a little bit of slack so I can get it around the barrel. And then I just start locking it down. And I'll kind of get that a little bit snug. And then once I get all the bonnets on, then I'll go around and, and snug them all down and make sure that they're secure. What I do when I'm using the tire bonnets is you see the red line? I put that out so I know that it's straight. So like I come back here and I keep that red line out. I keep it out here. So that tells me that my straps are straight and not twisted. And then what I'll do is, for example, on this setup, you'll notice we don't have as much track back here okay but i've got a lot of track up here so what i'll do is i'll take the longest part of it and i'll put it up here so that way i don't have to use a lot of x track back there and that's why i did this one right here um you've got plenty of x track to work with and then also uh, I can ratchet it down up front here and not underneath the vehicle my ratchet straps not hitting the frame or the vehicle at all You just after you do it a few times You learn real quick the best way to do it Another, another tip for you is if you're using these, and you'll see this one here is a little bit tweaked, make sure you pull them out and don't run over them because you'll bend them. So sometimes we have people helping us uh, and they'll let them in there and they'll try and back off for us or you know just try and help us out and it ends up bending them. So you want to make sure you take all these off before you back the machine off. <laughs> 